You see, if we get some inhalators and incubators and inhalation into the Iraqi army of the U.S. in Iraq currently stationed, then we don't have to worry about the mustard gas. They can all breathe through the inhalators. We gotta stay the course, whatever that course is, and I'm gonna figure it out. As my colleague said, we need inhalators. We need money from Congress to provide the inhalators, the bullets, and and the the Uzis, the 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 the. the the, the equipment our army needs to succeed in Iraq. In 10 or 20 years, we're probably going to be done. The war anyway, then we'll just have a peacekeeping force in there for eternity. Well, not eternity, probably just in Chelsea, will become president, or maybe Chelsea's grandchildren become president. We don't want to. We, we just stay the course. We're going to get there. We're getting there. We got these inhabilitators we need to instigate into the army. We've got to get Americans breathalyzed, as my colleague said, so that they're not in hospices where they can't breathe. 